Hello Aries, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your next love coming towards you reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings. All of that is in the description box below for you. And I do have a, a same day special going on for you guys. It's 2222. It's a three question recorded video reading and you will receive that reading within 24 hours from purchase. Everything that you'll need to know about scheduling is posted on the community page for you. All right, my loves, let's go ahead and take a look and see what is going on for you. I will be closing out that sale tomorrow at thir <laughs> tomorrow Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, just so you guys know. All right, let's go ahead and get into this, my loves. Aries, the next love coming towards you. They are feelings towards you. We have the Three of Cups. They are intentions towards you. We have the Page of Pentacles. Their next actions and behaviors towards you. We have the Magician. The challenge between the two of you, we have the Four of Pentacles. Your energy towards them, we have the Devil. And the potential outcome, we have the King of Cups. All right, we have the four wands here at the bottom of the deck for the general overall energy. I'm getting a couple different messages, so I'm going to give them both to you, Aries. Um, for some of you guys, I do feel like this could be something new, and it does look like somebody's feeling like they want to spend time with you. They want to get to know you. It's like, hey, let's go out. Let's start to date. Let's let's go out to dinner. Let's get together. Let's go to a movie. Let's get some coffee. Let's talk. Like, let's let's hang out. You know, let's spend some time together. And I feel like they do enjoy your company here. And then we have this page of pentacles for their intention, like wanting to get to know you more, wanting to see, you know, if there's more potential here. But I feel like they do want this. You know, they're very interested in this, especially with the magician being their next action. They're doing what they can to kind of make things work here. And they're like, wow, I, I do feel like this is something that I want. This is something that I'm really interested in. Interested in. Now, the challenge is the Four of Pentacles. So either you or they could have something from the past that you are still working on letting go of. I feel like it's you, Aries. I mean, it doesn't mean that you're holding on to a past person, um, but it could still be holding on to some anger, hurt, or resentment, holding on to a situation, right? So even if you're over the person, you know, if somebody really hurt you or they cheated on you or they lied to you, it's like, I feel like that is what you're holding on to, the actual, the, like what they've done, okay? Um, and it could be causing you to feel a little bit guarded or feeling like you're needing to kind of protect your heart here. You could be feeling a little bit cautious or hesitant to let somebody in or open up too much. Now, we do have this devil energy here. I'm going to cover it up because of the nudie, but we do have the devil energy here for your energy as well. Um, you could have a strong sexual desire towards this person or a strong, you know, chem physical chemistry towards them, um, attraction towards them, but I also feel like this is just representing fear. I'm going to be honest, especially with that Four of Pentacles being here. I think some of you guys are just afraid because there is something here that you're still not quite over from the past. And the devil can also just be a very like pessimistic view too. So some of you guys may have uh, kind of like a negative view on dating or on like people of the opposite sex. So it's like if you know if, if you had a guy hurt you or a female hurt you, you could be like all females or all males or a specific way, um, that kind of thing here. So I would be careful with that energy, but a lot of that looks just like fear, okay? Um, if you're able to push past it, it looks like it's going to be really nice, Aries, um, because you do have the King of Cups, and the King of Cups is something, you know, it's a deep, unconditional love, and it's something that is you know, very uh, consistent and steady and mature. And then you have the four of wands too, reaching a goal, a finish line, an accomplishment, a celebration. So stepping into a new chapter. So this actually looks like it could be really nice for those of you where this is a new person. Now, for some of you guys, I do feel like this could be a, a, a this could be dealing with somebody who's married or you could be married. Um, so whether you're in a commitment or they're in a commitment, to so just take it how it applies for you. Um, for those of you where it's not a new person and you are in a commitment or they are, um, I would be very careful because it does look like it's going to lead to get the three of swords right under that. It looks like it could lead to a lot of pain. Kind of see a third party situation being here and a strong desire to make something happen. Now, 
you could have some fear about that as well. Some fear that something isn't going to get be anything more than physical, okay? Um, I do feel like you could be developing strong feelings for a person and they could be doing developing strong feelings for you. But I also just don't see much changing here, especially with that Four of Pentacles. Um, you know, I feel like somebody else is still holding on to them or somebody else is still holding on to you or they're still holding on to um, the connection that they're in here too. So, you know, these situations are never easy. They tend to bring a lot of pain here. So we have that chariot kind of just moving forward and kind of seeing what happens. But, you know, I would definitely be careful because it looks like somebody is really watching the situation. So I'm going to leave that second part there. But that is what I have for you guys. I do hope that this helps. The signs that I'm seeing for you, we have Aries, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Gemini and Virgo. I see more cap, lots of Capricorn energy and Scorpio, okay? So it is a general reading. If I didn't mention a specific sign, this reading can definitely still resonate for you. But that is what I have for you. I do hope that this helps. Now, if this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. And everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, you guys can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and then I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you next time.